Welcome viewers, welcome to our channel. The flooding and underpasses and the under bridges after the mere two hours pre-monsoon rain in capital city of Delhi and the collapse of 2009 built roof of IGI airport speaks volume about poor workmanship of the gross impentence of the Indian bureaucracy at large. It is also the reflection of political leadership which has not been able to make the bureaucracy accountable for its misdeeds and inability to deliver on maintenance on the ground. It is not the rain but the flooding of Metro Roll underpass and the indicates that monsoon has arrived in Delhi for the past decades with NDMC bureaucracy and engineers unable to come up with any answers. The same is the case for the drainage system in other underpasses as the city's political leadership and municipalists look to other way to ramp it unauthorized construction and the encroachment of footpaths. It is the same for Delhi, catering traffic with police looking the other way to choking off roads by unauthorized parking. It is a free for all in Delhi and even in public equality to be blamed as it conveniently flouts law when it suits their convenience. But the large malaries of Indian bureaucracy which is allows the politicians and public to float laws for votes and convenience respectively due to sheer competence of the consideration. The flooding of roads, passes and its collapse of Delhi airport roofs is due to the poor maintenance and non-accountability of the private operators, operators by the government regulators. Prime Minister Modi needs to make the bureaucracy accountable for taking strict action or else the Babus will rule unchecked sensing the number of vulnerability of the India government in parliament. If they sense that the Modi government is business as usual in its third term, the Babus will take advantage of its vulnerability and can even resort to leaking documents to the opposition parties for they know which way the political wind is blowing. The non-accountability and foundation culture is not restricted only to civilian bureaucracy but also to the military bureaucracy. Do you know that even after 75 years, the BSF defending the Indian borders gets its ammunition supplies separately rather than getting from our army ammunition depots along with border? Did you know that the repair of even small arms of Indian force personnel stationed in JNK, the arms have to be sent to maintenance unit down to south instead of nearby army repair depots? Bureau report, 